Hey what's up guys and welcome back to the Third Age. We're currently besieging Emin Arnon, as you saw in the last episode. And um Let's get to it. I can't wait to uh, deliver a blow to the orcs. They haven't been proving to be so powerful yet. I don't know what's going on, but they just don't seem to be all that mighty to me right now. Which is good, I guess. Okay, we're gonna get some arrows on those bastards. Moran and God can, be, can become some problem. But that's about the only thing they've got. Archers in those two units. And our Gondry of Vedris is gonna tear through these night archers like nothing. In fact, they're heavy archers due to the fact that they've got like big plate armor, even though it's kind of like just average steel. Gondor steel, probably the best you can get in the, in the whole country, together with Elven steel, I guess. It's not really called Go Gondor steel, but our it's obviously going to be fucking awesome. Men have reached the gate with a battering ram. <clears throat> Prepare the militia for entry. We always send the militia in first, of course. Why would we send in the best to <laughs> minimize casualties? No, 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 of course not. There we go, these are going to tear through these. I don't need to send more than just one unit. As soon as they'll enter, uh, it's just going to be a bloodbath. Watch this, I'm just going to speed this forward a bit. Blood band just commences. If we Look continue at them. like this, we will smash the enemy. They're falling like, like crazy. Here we go. The gate is almost down. Are you ready, Santa Gondor? Well. Charge! Ah! And then the horn. Recom, you Charge! That means we're going in. We captured the enemy's walls. Poor archers can't do anything. They're stuck. Ah, that's right, you bastards. You better run. Just because I have an arrow in my knee doesn't mean I can't walk. I'm coming for you. We don't need to send in more. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident on this fact. It's going to move up like this. The rest can just stand out here and chill. Actually, we might as well display our might by just moving up a bit cocky like this. Just to show that, hey... We still got more coming, and you're never gonna survive this. Even though orcs probably don't feel fear in the way that humans do. Let's get us around on them now. Make ready! Hold! Prepare, bows! Fire! <laughs> ah! They're firing at us! Oh, I hit, hit him right in the head. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. I love, I love doing this. Um, who's here? Okay, these two. Lost like two guys each. This is what I call... This is something I like to call blowing the, the shit out of the shit. You know, like you just... You don't care about the attack move. You just go, you know? Just like that. Just awesome like that. Good tidings. Enemy general lies them. dead. It's dead. Cav? Is that Cav? Gav, charge in. Yes, Faramir, Sir Lord General. <laughs> Start singing. More Gondorian soldiers for the cause. Take Emin Armin. I don't think they did this in the movies, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, they just held Osgiliath and that's about it, right? Maybe not even that. Maybe they didn't even have East Osgiliath, I'm not sure. Sir, the archers, they're in the back. We should go around with the cab. Come from above and strike fast. Yes, sire. Archers, make sure you don't hit our friendlies. Aim strictly for the orc archers. They're routing my sir. My sir. My sir. I don't think they said my sir. Um, anyhow, can just stand them out here. We don't want to inflict any more casualties on our own guys. No, no, no. You know what you've been told. They're actually going to return. So go here and then go there. We're gonna attack straight into them. Shit! They've been hit by something. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, here we go. Charge! Load the horn once again, Italian Rangers. Italian Rangers! Those 70 to 80 Thillion Rangers must beat a hundred and their double amount in regular archers because they're so good. Where did they go? Don't tell me they're doing that. You fuck. Ah. You 
You make me upset, Cavalry. You make me upset. I'm not gonna lie. You suck. We're the bodyguards. I'm gonna take the shit now. Take the shit out of the plug! I'm gonna win this shit. And they're shaking. Run and God are shaken. They wanna shake it, they shake, shake. And here comes the c c cavalry. Cavalry for Gondor! Storming into the arches and killing all the arches. We're getting shot by your own soldiers. Yeah, they're just gonna take them out. And they're gonna be like shit, sir. And they're broken. And we've won this. Charge! I'm just gonna see this. We lost 13%, like a tenth of our army. Like if we had a thousand men, we lost a hundred. If we have 18, we lost 180 men. Probably gonna lose more though, because these fucking old. Oh shit! Ah, calf, you dumbass! They still got spearmen down there, you know. How can these actually kill? Like they're gotten through. Our men are in command of the castle. Behold how our cat This is a clear, clear victory. victory goes only to brave men. <laughs> Camp sacked. Oh right, we didn't even bring like a whole army. Ah, let's tear down some Milan. villains, shall we? Men, men, orcs, monsters. Their roads all sound too much. Hunting can't tell me too much about that. Wooden castle upgrade doesn't doesn't tell me much. So we're here, we're finally here. In Emin Arnen, and I no idea where the enemy army has gone. Just gonna have to scout this out, keep him here so that we can see what goes down and not. Now we have a strong as Gilead God. Holy fuck! Citadel Guard. That's a lot of Citadel Guard, and here we have some more. Militia, we got a good amount of troops there. Our economy is looking finer. But you know what's even cooler? We're gonna be Sage Umbar! Yes. Oh my god! It's, it's gonna be so epic. I yes. can't wait. And then these fucking Crusader invasions will stop. And then I will move back to take that Isengard town back to us, where it actually belongs to. We don't need to keep men here as long as I'm yes, diplomat here. I can actually see what goes down. Yes. So we're gonna form a new little army here. I'm gonna pick up people along the way. Move this we way and retake it, and we're good. It. And then we're gonna have to help. Uh, they got look at that, look at the troops down there, and they just fought these back. And I'm gonna go and take these guys yes. up here and just do some scouting. Can't get there, Maybe block wish. off the bridge for a turn or two. If I had a general on this, I can recruit like tons of mercenaries. But there we go, mission success, and you've been awarded with 2,500 gold coins. That's superb, guys. What could possibly be bad now? We might have to retake that Hadradrim village sooner or later, but that will do pretty easily. So here we go. Rowan has definitely recovered, and the only bigger Isengard armies I see now are actually focused around the doors. The rest is pretty empty, as you can see, Folberg, Jinnard, Adorn. It's just all very empty, and I think that um, Rowan could probably easily retake it. So now they're going to reform an army, from what I can see. From what I can see. I'm starting to talk like the guy from PF Online. Um, Isengard. Dan, whatever his name is. Oh, shit. Oh. No, this is an army we've probably never taken our whole lives. So. <laughs> fuck. So, I don't even want to fight. I'm just going to retreat. This is, hopefully they don't attack us. If they attack us, I'm just going to resolve it because I couldn't be arsed to do anything else about it. Hey, why don't we fuck their um, supply up and shit? Why don't we... Oh, no. Rune is coming for me fleet down there. No, they're not good. Okay. So. Blockade port. Uh, that thing? Okay. We'll take one ship and go there and block it. Ah, easy, easy stuff. Okay. Bring these guys up here. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure that we do everything correctly now. So, but I mean, uh, if we besiege a castle, like that, they won't get any money from it or anything, and we'll, it'll be overall disturbing, you know? And I like being disturbing in this game. So we're gonna put our army here. Do we see any orcish army? We see a servant of Sauron. We see a little Haradrin town. We probably easy to take. Um, we're gonna want more spies though. We're gonna want to recruit more spies. We're gonna want another spy. Uh, can I recruit a spy? Hello, spies. Spies. Spies up in my sentry. There we go. A spy. 
We need more than one. Here we go. You guys ready for the Your siege orders, of Umba? I'm gonna save because I usually save because I'm awesome like that. I'm gonna, go to Umba. I'm gonna assault it. How come they have like? Oh, where they get that garrison force from? Fucking garrison script, which I actually did turn off, sort of, but maybe they actually did replenish it in the last second. They do not want to lose it. Hopefully, though, they're all Corsair Light Infantry that my <laughs> Contour Infantry would just crack down and smack it up. Because basically, we're attacking with some proper infantry here. It's just all, not all militia. As you can see, you can see the Shining Armies. And it's a day, and a castle looks fairly easy to take, I'm not gonna lie. Big gate, though. Umba is not playing around. Okay, so. We're gonna want to be going strong on that wall, and we're gonna be going strong. Oh, I think we should fa flank focus. You know, if we take two ladders up that wall, uh, they can easily attack that one. They can easily attack that one, and we'll put the rams in the middle. Um, spread out formation, and then we'll have. Where's the other bandit ram? They don't have any in the castle, do they? Nope. Good. So we'll drop the ram for now, and we'll set these guys behind here so they can come like a cool reinforcement. And uh, then we have militia in a good amount. They can also come uh, through these ladders a bit later. And if it's actually absolutely needed and extremely needed, we'll have more of these troops here. Let's go. Let's see what they put on the walls. Dismounted Corsair Arc. It's going to be a piece of cake, trust me. <laughs> Light infantry. Serpent guards can be slightly different, but archers, spearmen, and they're basically not that good. Hopefully, our bandits can do something. I don't know what these go for, but they're probably pretty swift. The morale is probably not that good, but we recruited them down here in the, the southern regions, so they're obviously going to be a bit, you know, in uh, shanks and stuff, but okay. My infantry is probably going to crumble these guys down to pieces. Uh, and I like the fact that we're attacking from two ladders, and that will definitely increase any chance of success. And we got more infantry standing by. I'm um, wondering if we can actually use this ramp to take down side wall. I just don't have the patience to to do that. Nope. Oh, they're really putting some fire on us, but they're not really hitting. So once again, not a big deal. And around the last second here. These turrets are quite annoying. They're arrow shooting. It hits him in the. He's like, oh, I can't live anymore. So you're thinking 143 men. That's a lot. But is this only the 143 men you got? So you got like 30 guys by the ladders. And then let's count it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sort of like 140, 40 something. 46. These are gonna go now, and these are besieging the wall, or... Oh! They came out to fight us, I see. Ah, uh, they're gonna try and take down the ram. It's gonna go in and take these out. Victory is almost a certainty. That's a problem. Okay, let's bring in our spearmen. Ah, well, it's gonna be tricky for these. Victory seems certain. Yeah, things always seem certain. Things are always what they seem to be. Because you can say that. We can put them. Ah, uh, casualties here. Yeah, but we're killing oh, almost certainty. But it, we'll see once we get more soldiers up on the walls. Victory seems certain. So nine, four, I don't know. It's fucking Umbar, huh? Come on, Gondor! Sons of Gondor! Okay, let's go in and just beat it up now. That's what they're asking for. Okay, so. Oh, fuck. They're running back now. Bandits, we need to go and rally the bandits with some. with our general. These are still gonna make up for a big pot of army. It just seems certain, but things are running back there. They're they're going back. Could it be because they see what we're bringing here? Don't ask me. So we're gonna turn these, take these back. 
can go in here, we're going to blow the horn a bit. We're going to let the proper Gondorian stab him in the ass or something. No, but you know. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay, Victory good. will be ours. Oh, right, look at this. Yeah, Victory is almost a certainty. Now that we've gained our foothold here, more and more of the troops are just running up now to improve. And I think this is pretty much a good game for us, I'd say. Get the general back here for, for morale. Victory is almost a certainty. These are just going to make their way here like colossally. And um, these archers are going to be a problem. We don't. We didn't bring any archers. Minus or plus? You, you tell me. Um, anyhow, um, look at this. Oh, zing, you fucker. Zing. Gondor, don't mess with our home ports or we would fuck you up like we're doing it now. And these are surrounded. So this is the key thing also with having this away ring. He's going to be broken in three, two, something. Soon. Okay, they're fighting to the death, probably, that's why. Okay, Gondor Militia, these two guys now go all out of these. Yep, you fuck now. Because we're coming from all the flanks and we're going to fuck you up. Going to fuck you. I'm, I'm swearing a lot, excuse me. I know it's rather unprofessional, I just just the Swede I am, you know? Swearing in another English is like saying hello. You know? It's not much more than that, really. I'm gonna be fully honest. Take them out. What, what are they doing now? Okay, why don't we enter the castle? Because we can, okay? The gates are open, But we've taken them now, so we can enter as well if we want to not. Oh yeah, let's get let's deal with the uh, the archers. Bandits, you go up and do that. And while Spearman here. You head for the mid. Try and take us as little fire as possible. Okay, we're taking fire from the horseman here. Or the archers, I'll run him back for a second and blow the horn and run him back. Lost a man. So, they're up here. These bandits are not too bad. Look at that! It's like one stabbing them, one shotting the whole shit. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Okay, yes, and we are 34, they have 60% almost. It's looking very good. Completely crushed them now. These bandits proved to be more awesome than I thought. Sometimes it's definitely worth spending some money on getting a good amount of soldiers. We're going to take the spearmen and go for against the cavalry, and then we're going to take our swordsmen and just completely destroy their spearmen. And then we're going to take a. Oh, they're trying to run. Oh, they're trying to flank. Okay. Hopefully it won't be too successful as our Gondor soldiers are going to be coming in from behind. So as they run here, there's going to come out Gondor soldiers here. It's going to be funny. Funny as shit. Ah, oh, we decided to do in sort of like a crush. Okay. Well, at least we got them to stop firing, so we're going to turn in our troops now. Oh yeah, someone said yesterday, go to your total war folder and, and uninstall, um, deselect suck a total war. I don't suck a total war, okay? In my in my previous Empire Total War, let's play, I I almost captured the whole fucking world of Sweden, and I'm going to play it on hard. I don't suck a total war. I let's play, and I couldn't care less about being super uber good when I'm let's playing a game to try and keep it entertaining. If you want to see MLG, why don't you go and speak to MLG Providence and be like, "Yo, you should, uh, should, uh, should get uh, people to um, play Total War on MLG." Like, yeah, maybe, and maybe the fuck not, because people just don't do that. Keeps a high standard. But I'm just saying, don't. It's, it's un that's un unreasonable. What are they doing with their cam now? Don't they realize that they're all gonna die? <laughs> so. Our men have taken control of the city. I think they're gonna try and get a flank on us. That's not gonna work. It's gonna be horrible. It's a horrible slaughter for the seven. We've lost control of the city. Oh god. Line up. Yeah. 
No, fuck it. Charge. We don't want to lose our general though, so we're going to keep him in the back. Absolutely don't want to lose the general. Um, they started retreating and they got massacred. This army's done here. Absolutely done. Done, done. What's left? That. I want it crushed. Not you. They're doing so good here anyway. The feeds him certain on the move. Yes! You're putting fucking swordsmen against I mean spearmen against freaking Yeah, I'm, I'm playing in fast forward point I'm wondering why it's chopping up. I seem to be that the most effective. Sometimes We've lost half of our men! Oh my god! Fifty percent men dead. Holy shit, yeah. Hello, it's a siege. A castle. An umbar. Fucking gazillion years from, from, from where we live. Okay. Obviously, we're gonna lose men. Honestly, though, but the bandits are really the ones that are taking the most fight, but they've also done some key things. So I'm gonna merge their unit and try and replenish it, because I like the bandits. They're light and swift, and they can easily be like archer cleaners, wall flankers, anything, because they're so cool. They're so quick. <sighs> okay, so our spearman is gonna make a quick work out of the Haradrim spearman. Ooh! Ooh! No, 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 no. Don't you stab the black carrier. And he's like, you stab my friend. You bitch, I'm gonna stab you until I die. And he's like, no, 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 you can't, can't do that. I swear to God. You wanna bet? Because I'm so unlucky. I'm gonna send in the, these guys now to finish off the cavalry. And my general, uh, I think it's him. No? It's the guy in the blue cape. There we go. Oh, he's in the back. He's probably not gonna die. Smart general. Not getting getting himself killed. Oh, I love that. Look how look how nonchalant that is. Uh, hello, hello, it's gonna fire you back. Oh, horseman, fuck. Shit, peace. We're fucked down. You fuck now. Pursue and destroy. Have taken control of the city. One dismounted serpent god is gonna make quick work of him. Oh, he's meeting him way in there. Okay. And then this comes. Dum, the dum, dum, dum. Dum, 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 dum. So, we did what I wanted to do for a long time. Capture Umbar and do it in a good way, not take too many casualties. Completely eliminate the enemy um, gods and everything. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. This couldn't be more perfect now. Unless we lose our general. And this is a clear good. victory. Nice. Yes. No more cursor invasions in a long while. Yes. I love it. Perfect. Yeah. Umbar is ours. Goodbye, Corsair Invasions. An honorable, glorious victory. A most noble conquest. Kind of want to sack it. Because I don't care. So, here we go. What should we destroy here? Port. Fairground. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see here. Okay, evil men. Evil men in destroy. Evil men market destroy. Evil men town hall. We don't like evil men, okay? We don't. Bowyer, go fuck. Town hall, go fuck. Staves, go fuck. Black, go fuck yourself. They completely dismantled the city. No yes, control and Oh, that did that automatically. We're not gonna retrain anything because we can't. And that's about it. We're going to keep our fleet right. in lands right now. And that's the end of the fucking invasions. Thank God. Well, as long as if they retake it, of course, there's going to be more. They're going to be like, hey, hey, we retook it. Hey. But uh, hopefully they won't. Um, let's gather up a little army to retake. We need to put more pressure on Isengard. Fuck, I hate Isengard right now. But Mordor feels rather dissembled, if I'm going to be honest. Does it say that... Um, That we have like a uh, stopped something. Okay, so now we're gonna gather the forces. Formidable host, you know. Take the ones that don't cost anything in upkeep, send them into each other. Come on. And we're gonna take. We need to retake that castle. We we can't have it like this. We need to send any spare soldiers. Um. So now that we have some money, we should try and upgrade the money even more by building some more farms 
Maybe the markets. Ministerit must have something that can upgrade. Communal farming, good. It costs a lot. A lot of money. But it's going to be a lot of money in return. That's beautiful. That's the whole beautiful thing. So. Okay, and this, these cities feel rather threatened. But I think we can retake what we have lost pretty easily. Well, let's save. This, is, this episode's going to be a bit shorter than averagely. Uh, it's actually, in fact, going to be quite shorter than usually because right now we're going to play more Empire because that seems to be more the focus of my crowd right now. Even though I, I love this game, it's amazing, it's funny. You all like it, you, I hope. And um, it should be good like that. Oh, there's a fight here. Did I expect that? Yes, I did. We're just here to annoy. Goodbye. We, we just had to knock on your door. And that's it. <laughs> oh, now we're fucked. But I couldn't care less. Let's see if our men can kill like one guy, because I'm not even going to bother playing this out. I'm not here to waste your time. You yeah, know, that was a pretty good amount of soldiers. Yay! They lost six. It's bad. <laughs> but usually when they come in that amount of force and they storm in on you, you're not going to be able to kill that many, even though they're more than you, because the more they are, the more they're going to meet you down, and the more they're going to get shot at. Okay, so this Explorer's Guild a thousand in Umba. No. Why would I even look into the pal No! I will never ever look into the Palantir. Ships ready. Okay, there we go. We besieged that, that little thing now. Located. Um no more Corsair invasions for them. Leave me be. If that's a Corsair invade no. Head back. You're not besieged. Oh right, they they lift off the siege and told Amrof. Which is good, I guess. And they're gonna try and take out my army. I uh, my fleet, that's what I meant. Um it's going to be obviously quite hard for them. So we're creating a strong force. Forced. I was going to say host. It became forced. Um, I'm going to try and retake. Uh, the question is what I do here, and that's up to you crowd. Very important. Do I go for Adoras or do I go for this city? Adoras or this city? Take Adoras, return it to Mordor. I mean, Rohan. I don't know. You tell me. God damn it. Oh yeah, we have a spy that we're gonna use. Where did he go? My lord. We're gonna move up here. We need to keep an eye. I shall continue uh, above Henneth Hoon. Oh, right, these soldiers. Yes. Brave defenders of Henneth Anun. Very strong right flank. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing actually. Approaching quietly. Approaching stay here. Honest. We can't move any troops through here anyways, so My lord. might as well stay. Tiny garrison, easily takeable. Good amount of soldiers here. We, can, we can't retrain because we, we just can't. So Umbar is a good amount of troops here. They're gonna hold out, Shots hold it down, ready. lock it down. Uh, we can blockade port. We're doing that. That's gonna be for next turn. We should end next turn though, because I just want to get that money increase. Uh, and I want to move this army just slightly closer. We're gonna move it somewhere in the middle, where else I can decide we'll better. Good, 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 good. Rohan, come on, shape up. I know you're in a war, they've captured three of your settlements, but you still have four or five strong standing ones, and you, you've got a good, strong whole host that can probably do stuff, I hope. Even though Isaac God is growing stronger by the second. Oh, yeah, and I need to set up more trade. Um, oh, yeah, they. This is, I don't know, they expected that. Uh, by your command, your will, my lord, my lord. Let's move up. Yes. Mission success. Oh. Wait, three. Oh. Ships ready. Okay, it's never bad to have. I can keep these here for. Oh, and we'll send them out, I guess. Yes, oh, sir. fuck. Once I capture you, your title will be. Fuck. My lord. My lord. <laughs> Bribe? You can't really join your faction? We must decline. <laughs> Fuck! Come to a close. Your corpse will be thrown to the dogs. Oh shit! Your corpse will be your corpse will be thrown to the dogs. Once I capture you, your title will mean nothing. What if they bring Muma kills? What if they bring Muma kills? Your corpse will be thrown to the dogs. Once I capture <laughs> you, your title will ah. mean nothing. Okay, I mean, Arnon is gonna hold out though. I, I believe, I believe this can hold that out. Um, to be honest. Uh, so I'm scared, but make sure nothing happens. 
Oh, fuck. Isn't it time for us then to cripple them even further? Uh, by doing future to that. Probably hold that out though. No, but they should probably realize by now that Umbar is not theirs anymore. We're gonna have to send these to Lunia, for God's sake, shit. Um, Pelagri is gonna need a bit of an amp up. Some forces there. That's not going to hold out of that against that. Uh, but no, I'm here to deliver a blow to the stomach of the of the orcs, of the Urux. But that I probably won't be able to take that with this anyhow. So I'm just going to retake my city. I'm going to do that decision myself. But I don't want to end it right now. I said it was going to be short episode. But it's probably not. Now that I'm continuously ending the turns, because I just want to get closer. To see what they're gonna say about this. <coughs> Oops. If they just retake Fallberg with a big army, boom, lock it down. Take Jinnet, boom, lock it down. Leave some men behind. They're, I don't know what they're doing, but they, they, Mo Rohan seems to be like not giving a shit about what they're having. They still haven't captured that. Hopefully, miraculously, they can hold out. I don't know how that's gonna happen. My lord, keep that ship there. A second. Oh, what? In the name of your corpse what? Will be thrown to the dog. Holy Boy. shit! They are putting pressure right now. Your corpse will I think be we can't move for Isengard right now. We're gonna have to send. Will, Fuck! Lord. We're gonna have to send these to Dol Amroth, without a doubt. And we're gonna have to send these to Linear, yes. without a doubt. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Your will, my lord. I'll keep this horrible. I need to make more trade agreements with my diplomat. You're not supposed to be a scout. I think it's isn't he somewhere here? He's here, right? Okay. Ceasefire. Why? What about a ceasefire? Expect much. Never. Your proposal implies we are fools. This meeting was quite useless. Okay, we're gonna have to continue. I believe we have trade agreement. We need a trade agreement with uh, people over here. As you wish. I don't care if it's without question. Oh my God, sorry, yes. Always. Stopping here. <sighs> Still need to kind of like scout out Why what they're having on? there. So I'm gonna send a scout up there to see. And then we're fine. But now, so many things are happening, I just can't save. God damn it. I mean, I just can't stop, that's what I mean. I can't stop now. It's impossible. Things are looking so good, like, yes, capturing major cities, and then Harai just brings up, like, bone crushing armies to my front gates, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> fuck. We must make a stand. God. We are yep. besieged. I mean, on an besieged. I saw that coming. New mission. Take settlement beneath. I know. Ah, oh, they left their whole host in there, didn't they? Yep. Okay. I, I keep him. Keep him yes. just in range to see By the castle. Can I move him just in Yes. By there we your go. Command. Just in range. Take retake Pinnath Galil. It's gonna take a time. Um. Honestly, though, what could go wrong? We would just send an army out there to take out uh, what they have. I say it's a good idea. We leave our general, we leave the militiamen, but we need to take Vatavia to cripple them. We need to cripple. We're going to leave a honorable force in there, but they can't recruit that much in that in a little short of time. Send these out to take it. Marching to war. Oh yeah, right. Why don't we tax these extremely high? And wait, I'm not planning on losing any army to to this shit army. This army of Gondor cannot be <laughs> be halted by this. That's a shit host. Trust me on that one. Um, and as much as I'd love to capture it here, Ethraid, I think I know how. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Full sails. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure I know how. My lord. Your will, my lord. Orders. My lord. Orders. Okay. Disembarking. Ships ready. This is how. Your will, my lord. Orders. To war then. We're going we're going to turn 55 max. And I'm saving this by every second. I don't want to fuck up. Okay, so they're obviously trying to lay siege this sort of harbor thingy uh, by somehow, but I'm gonna try and not let them. Oh right, okay. Uh, what do we do about this? An order. These don't mean anything to me except Boromir. I'm gonna send them this way. And play cool. We shall siege doors. We could take that with this. Probably do the fact that the strong today. axemen have lost that. If they only have like Moving a general and some enemy. unknown unit type. So we're gonna at least besiege it and hope for the best to occur. Even though that's probably never gonna happen. Cause you know what? No one likes us. Simple. Simple like that. And if Rowan took the stick out of the arse and did something, instead of just keeping 5,000 troops in their castles, we could take this and win. I need some more Trocadero. I don't know if you have Trocadero and wherever you're watching this from, but it's good. Now we're definitely not going to be able to take Indoras by any chance. Oh. Merde. Here we go. Battle coming up. Should we fight this one out now or should we take it later? Take it later, take it later. Take it now, take it now. I can't just sit by and imagine this happening. But in fact, it's gonna have to wait because I'm, I'm saving so much, and I'm, my brain's gonna boil over by everything that's happening right now. So my plan is to hold them off here, and I, I'm very certain that this can hold that off in a in a siege mode, uh, due to our strong army. But holy shit, on the battlefield, this man will always realized, will is always realized. Sorry, he's a true master of warfare, hardly a, t a tactical genius, but this man is showing the man aptitude. Literally, he's just farming. I mean, he's just a bowman, you know. He's a the captain of the Rangers of Ethelion. But then again, what the, I mean, what do they bring in? Heradrian spearmen. Nothing that our regulars can't take. Corsairs, nothing our regulars can't take. Trollmen of Arad, effective against the armor. They're probably pretty good. But they fight better on the fields. These are just. Mm, I don't know. And they got some generals. Oh my, oh my kills, that would be horrible. And down here, um, we're gonna. Umbar is just going crazy right now. I don't I don't care if the rebels take Umbar. They can take it with a full force. Let them do that. Please cause trouble in Umbar and I will be happy. We're gonna take Vavatia and keep that under lockdown. We're gonna try and do something against Isengard, but Mordor's just not doing anything, so Karandras and Hanathanu and armies Tassas Gilead. Should they they don't move from like Minas Morgul or something unless they have some garrison script spawns. So I'll see you guys next time. Once again, I'm going to save because I'm so stressful right now, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.